Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm kicking off a declutter series here on my channel and we're starting with my lip product collection because this is the area of my makeup collection that is the most overwhelming to me. As you can tell, I have quite a few lip products. Laid out in front of us, I have all of my lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, regular lipsticks, as well as my lip pencils. So I'm hoping that I don't have to cut this video into two parts but we may have to. We're going to try and just fly through this without it. I'm hoping to declutter at least a third of my collection. Most of this stuff, you guys, is stuff that I actually have purchased myself or has been sent to me in like boxy charms and things like that, but I don't get PR or anything like that, so I feel like I have a little bit more of a tough time decluttering just because I know I spent my money, my dollars on all of these items. But again, this is starting to get super overwhelming to me, so I would like to declutter a good chunk of my collection today. So that is the goal. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with my lip pencils here, just because I feel like this is a part of my collection that I don't get much use out of, and I really need, like I need to get rid of quite a few of these. I am refilming this because I just filmed this section of this and so I kind of know the ones that I for sure want to get rid of and then I have this stack that I was gonna keep but I need to get rid of more. So I have these 12 pencils over here that I'm getting rid of, a couple of Kylie Jenner ones, one in Junebug, one in Vixen. These are just colors that I don't reach for that much. I really don't reach for lip pencils that much anyway so I really should be only keeping like reds and neutrals. I'm also getting rid of all of my ColourPop ones just because these are old and they've gone bad. I do really like the ColourPop lip liner formula. I did have the shades Dopey, Roach, and Grunge. And then I'm going to get rid of this one from Real Her. I think that the formula on this has gone bad. It's super sticky as it applies and I just don't need that. I have this one from NYX. Again, I feel like this one may have gone bad or just... No, it's not gone bad, but I just don't again ever reach for lip pencils so i don't need to keep this i have this one from model co which i haven't even opened so i'm going to be getting rid of this one this is in the shade i don't even know what shade this is in but i'm going to get rid of that then i have this one from nyx in the shade mauve which i really like but i have a similar shade to this so i don't need to keep both I have another Model Co. one that I'm getting rid of. I have an Ofra one in the shade Wine, which is really pretty, but I have a duplicate of this, so I feel like I can get obviously get rid of one of them. And then I have this one in the shade Rose Pale, or Pale Pink from NYX, and this is a duplicate for me, so I don't, again, need to keep both of them. I know I'm going to be keeping my Kylie lip liners in the shades Malibu, Candy K, ginger as well as apricot. I like all of these just because they're pretty neutral. I also definitely want to keep my Huda Beauty Trophy Wife just because I really like the shade on that. I know I want to keep this one from Sephora. This is in the shade 2, nothing but nude, just because I do want to keep a nude liquid or lip pencil. I also have this one from Lord & Berry, which I just kind of liked. It's more of like a crayon formula, so I wanted to keep this one. I feel like I actually can get rid of this one from Sephora. It's a nice creamy formula, but I just feel like I don't wear this color that often. This is in the shade 3 Rose Wine. This NYX suede in the shade Los Angeles, which I really like. It's sort of like a mauve brown. Then I have a, cover, a couple other NYX ones that I know I'm going to keep. I have the NYX suede in the shade Copenhagen, which I like. I have the matching liquid lip cream. And I also have the shade Pale Pink. Again, I had two of those. And then I have the shade Nude Pink, which I also really like. I have this NYX one in the shade Peekaboo that I recently bought for a video and haven't tried yet. And then I also have this Makeup Forever one that I just recently was sent in a boxy charm or something that I want to try. I haven't even opened, so I'm going to keep that. I also have the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Pencil in the shade Lolita, which I want to keep. And then I want to keep this Tartiste one just because it's a nice candy apple, like deeper red uh, that I feel like I can match a lot of my red lipsticks with. I do feel like I can probably get rid of this one from Lord & Berry. It's just kind of, again, like a rosewood pink. I don't feel like I'll get much use out of that. And then I have this Roseberry one from Larizity which is almost the exact same shade as that one from Lord & Berry that I'm going to get rid of, so I'll also get rid of this. I have this from IBY Beauty in the shade Blush, which is very similar to these, but a little bit deeper. I think I'm going to keep this blush one. 
I also wanted to keep this one from Real Her because it's super creamy and again, I really like that red color. This brown one right here from Jaunt Blue that I think I'm going to get rid of. I don't see myself using that. I have this one from Inglot, which I'm going to keep because I forgot I had this. This is a beautiful pale pink color and I really want to pull this out and use this. Then I have this one from Gwen Stefani in Urban Decay, which I don't think you can get anymore. It needs a sharpen, but it's just a nice nude pink shade. I'm going to keep this. And then finally, I have this one from Pure. I got in like some sort of kit. And again, it's just like that rosewood sort of shade. I don't dislike the shade. I just don't see myself reaching for this because I don't reach for lip pencils that often. So I'm going to get rid of this too. So out of my lip pencils, I am keeping 18 and getting rid of 17. All right, you guys, moving on to my gloss collection. Right off the bat, I know I'm going to be keeping all of my Dose of Colors glosses. I really love the Dose of Colors gloss formula. It's one of my favorites. And also in this bunch is not, I don't have my gloss bomb in here. It's in my purse right now, but I'm obviously keeping that. I know I'm going to be keeping my Lancome Juicy Shaker in the shade Apricute. I really like this. I also just picked up this NARS Lip Lacquer in the shade Santo Domingo, so I'm going to hang on to this. I also recently picked up the Becca Chrissy Teigen Gloss, which I'm going to keep. I personally really enjoy this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea formula. I have two more of these that must have gotten mixed in with my other lipstick collection, but I am going to keep the anything that's Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, the H2O glosses. I have my two MAC lip glasses, which I really like, so I'm going to keep those. First of all, I have this from Chloe and Isabel, and I know I have more of these somewhere, but this I just feel like I'm not going to get use out of. I know I'm not going to wear this. It's a super pigmented gloss. But I just hate the berry tones personally on me, so I know I can get rid of this. Then I have, let's see, I'm going to swatch out a couple of these Buxoms because I know I want to get rid of some of these. Like this purple, I know I'm never going to use, so I'll get rid of that. And then I've got this pink one, which, oh, it might be good to keep like a Barbie pink gloss for the summer. I suppose I'll keep that. Let's see. This one is super similar to one of the MAC lip glasses that I'm keeping, so I think I'll get rid of this. And then, let's see, I feel like this just isn't going to be, if I'm keeping that hot pink, I can get rid of this one. This is the Milani Hypnotic Lights. This is kind of like a lip topper. It's in the shade 4. I really did not like this formula. I don't like this at all, so I'm definitely going to be getting rid of this. Let's see, I have this Sephora mini lip gloss, which is really similar to the Buxom one, which I know I prefer the Buxom formula, but the Buxom's a little bit hotter pink. I'm going to keep the Buxom, get rid of this. I have these three from Buxom in the shade Sandy, Erica, and Celeste that I know I'm going to keep. These are just more neutral, and I really like these. I also have this Sephora gloss in the shade Peek, Peekaboo Pink. Oh, Peekaboo Pink, duh. And I do actually really like this gloss, so I'm going to definitely be keeping that. It's just a nice peachy pear. It's just a really nice peachy pink. Let's see, I have this one from Juice Beauty that I must have gotten in some sort of subscription, and that's kind of like a, almost like a copper gloss. I don't see myself wearing this much. It's more of maybe like a lip topper. I'm not really sure, but I don't really like the shade, so I'm going to get rid of this. And I also think I'm going to get rid of this one from Luna Beauty, which I feel like is kind of like that, a same shade, similar. I'm going to get rid of that. Let's see, a few more Buxom minis to swatch. I definitely don't need to get a Buxom set this holiday season. There's another sort of like bubblegum pink. I think I'll hang on to that. And then I don't feel like I need this one. No, I don't typically go for red glosses, so I'm going to get rid of this. But I have these two. I feel like I probably only need one of these because I'm sure they're similar. Ooh, pretty dang similar. I think I'm going to go actually with the gl more glittery of the two and hang on to this. And then the last little buxom gloss here is kind of like 
purple with a gold shift, which I actually, mm, I'm going to hang on to this one. And then I also have my full size buxom dolly gloss, which I know I'll keep. I have this tart this Tartiste paint one. This was, I believe, limited edition. It's in the shade, I think, Bora Bora. It's almost like holographic or duochrome. It has like a blue, pink, and purple shift. It's in the shade Mermaid. I I reach for this in the summertime, but not really much in the winter, but I am going to keep this. I was excited about this one. I have this one from Pure that I got in like some sort of set. Oh, and I actually really like that pigment, but hold on. I think it's going to be super similar to the Chrissy Teigen gloss. So, oh yeah, it's pretty similar. I'll keep the Chrissy Teigen gloss because I know I really like that and I'll get rid of the Pure. Then I have this. I don't even know what brand this is from. I stopped recording at some point, so if I missed you for a couple, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to declutter this from E and E. It's right here swatched. I just, I'm never going to reach for a gloss like this. I'm also going to get rid of this one from Mary Kay. I've just had this for a really long time, and I have other gloss formulas that I prefer. I recently picked this up for a video. This is from Revlon. This is one of their super lustrous lip glosses, so I'm going to keep that because this is new to my collection. I'm also going to keep this mini Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine. Shoot, I know I have another Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine somewhere. Um, but I'm going to hang on to this. And then I have this from Cargo. And I actually kind of do enjoy this gloss formula. It's more of like a golden pink, which I don't see any other golden pink glosses swatched on my hand here. So I'm going to hang on to this. And then finally, I have this one from Pure. And this is one of the ones that you like twist up and... It's kind of almost like a lip lacquer. I haven't gotten a ton of use out of this. And it's pretty similar to this. Ooh, this is going to be a maybe. Yeah. Throughout this declutter series, I'm going to keep my maybes and do like a full face of makeup I'm considering decluttering. So I'm going to hang on to this one as a maybe. So from the gloss category, I'm going to get rid of 13. And I'm going to keep 23 glosses. All right, you guys, moving on to the rest of the madness. We're just going to put liquid lipsticks and liquid and lipsticks in the same category. And we're going to go through the rest of this. <laughs> this is looking a bit daunting. However, let's just start reaching right, right away. So I have this glazed lip paint from LA Girl that I don't really care for. I know I can get rid of this. And then I have this Smashbox. This is like a... Oh, one of their metallic liquid lipsticks, which I know I just never reach for metallics, so I'm going to get rid of this. Let's see, I'm going to grab all of my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks, because I know I'm going to keep all of these. If you guys would like to see a video about my Dose of Colors like lip collection, let me know, because I definitely have quite a bit from Dose of Colors. They're like by far one of my favorite lip product brands. Okay, so here are all of my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks that I know I'm going to be keeping. I also know I'm going to be keeping both of my Tarte Rainforest of the C lipsticks. I have them in the shade Rum Punch as well as Colada. Both are kind of like neutral nude brown shades, which I love. Next, I just grabbed out like my Kat Von D collection here, which I have three full size and three minis. My full sizes are in the shade Ludwig, Cathedral, and Bow and Arrow. I just recently picked these up during the Sephora VIB sale, and I know I'm going to be keeping all three of these. And then I have my minis in the shade Lovecraft, which my minis are the ones I'm a little bit more unfamiliar with or like don't remember when and where I got them. So there's Lovecraft. I like that. I'm going to keep it. Ooh, this one is Double Dare, which I also really like. And then I have this one, which is more of a berry tone shade, which again, I don't really love berry toned shades. This is in the shade Bauhaus. So I know I'm going to get rid of this Bauhaus because I just don't like shades like that. Here, let's go for my Jeffree Star ones. I know I have three of them. Jeffree Star. This first one is in the shade Rose... Rose Matter, which I like. This one is kind of just like... I don't know. It's like a pink shade that I just don't really have in my collection. And then I have both Unicorn Blood... No. Yeah. Unicorn Blood and Designer Blood. The Designer Blood was from 
his holiday collection not this past year but the year before so it's honestly probably getting pretty old this one is unicorn blood and then we have designer blood so they're both pretty close and honestly i just love shades like this so i really do want to keep both of them and i also want to keep this this uh rose matter one too so i'm going to keep all three of these then I have my Lime Crime collection, and I know I'm going to be keeping these two from Lime Crime. This one is like a hot coral. It's in the shade True Love. And then I also have this one in Red Rosé. Again, just like another red shade that I just really like red lipstick or liquid lipstick, and I just feel like that's a little bit unique to my collection. But then I also have the shade, I think this is, what is this? moonstone and this is almost like a lavender purple sorry i got out of frame this is like a lavender purple i know i'm never gonna wear this and i think same thing goes for this one this is just a really unique shade more of like a taupe and i know i'm never gonna wear this shade either this is in the shade cashmere so i'm gonna get rid of these two from line crime and then keep these two Okay, so these are my Power Matte Pigments by NARS. I have the shades Get It On, London Calling, Don't Stop, and Rock With You. I love all of these. These are some of my favorite like liquid lipstick type of formulas. They last all day. They are a more drying formula, but I really do like this formula by NARS, so I know I'm going to keep all four of these. But I am going to get rid of this lip product by NARS. This is their Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Toy, and this is again just like one of those shades that just is like leans more purple so it just does not work for me so i know i'm gonna be getting rid of this let's see maybe let's do kylie next it's, i think these are all my kylie liquid lipsticks we'll see if we come across any more but i have four neutral shades i have apricot malibu candy k and ginger and then i have these two more daring colors i have the shade vixen which was from a holiday set two a year two years ago and then i have june bug from her summer release which i've worn june bug honestly like one time and like i think it's like a fun like a super fun bold color but honestly like i truly just am never really gonna wear this so i'm gonna as much as it pains me i'm gonna get rid of june bug and then i'm also gonna get rid of vixen which is just like a little and by a little i mean a lot bit too dark like this almost looks black it's it's a little bit past like that dark deep burgundy that i like so i am going to get rid of vixen as well here is one of the bare minerals stay matte um lip products and i actually didn't love this when i first tried it just because i wanted it it wasn't a very long lasting formula it's definitely not drying which is nice if you're looking for like more of a hydrating liquid lipstick but at the time that i first tried this i didn't like this but i want to pull this back out and put this in the maybe category because i want to try this again now that like my lip preferences have changed and i'm interested to see if i will like this now okay let's see i have this vice liquid lipstick from urban decay and i actually did not like the vice formula i have mine in the shade back talk which is a really beautiful shade but i didn't like this formula so i'm gonna get rid of this okay i also have this mm, this mana lip lock priming lip wand I don't even know if it's like supposed to prime your lips or actually be like a lip product, but regardless, I rarely wear these crayon type of products. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Crayon products I know I'm gonna keep are my Tarte lip lingeries. I did get rid of, or one of these, one of mine of these broke. So I know I have one more in here, but I, I used to have five. I'm gonna keep all of these because I do really like the formula on this, especially, I don't know for some reason i like it around the holiday time because it has like a pepperminty feel to the lips that i really enjoy here's another lime crime lip product that i missed and this one i actually do like this leans a little bit more burgundy red rather than like this black red this is in the shade of blood moon this was my first liquid lipstick from lime crime i'm gonna keep this i'm also gonna keep this ysl i don't even remember the product that this is actually like the name of this but it's almost like a lip stain. I like this, love this color in the summertime. So really like this product from YSL. It's my only lip product by them. So I'm definitely keeping that. I'll get rid of these two crayon lip crayons. This is a cheeky lip crayon from LAQ. 
A and Co. And then I'm also going to get rid of my Revlon Color Burst. I just don't reach for these. Let's see, what's this? This is from Ola Neon. This is a velvet liquid lipstick. This looks to be a little bit too purple for my liking, definitely. So I'm definitely going to be getting rid of this. Then I have this from Noya. And this, again, looks to be a shade that I wouldn't wear. This actually feels like it's more of a gloss, and it's more of like a Barbie pink, but I did keep a Barbie pink gloss, so I'm going to get rid of this. So through my ColourPop lippy sticks, let's see. Okay. Okay, so here are all my ColourPop lippy sticks swatched. As you can tell, I have like some more fun colors, if you will. I'm going to keep these two top shades. This is in the shade Toucan. This is in the shade Crumpet. I'm going to get rid of this, which is in the shade Fetch. I'm also, I'm going to keep this one just to have like one really fun color in my collection. That's in the shade Ticker. I'm going to get rid of this one, which is in the shade I Heart This. I'm going to get rid of this red one in the shade juju rouge and i'm also going to get rid of this shade which is in the shade barely there just because it's so similar to this one up here okay i have this stila liquid lipstick and stila makes some of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas as well right up there with those colors this is in the shade baki which is a really interesting shade definitely want to get more shades and i would probably declutter this shade if i had more in the stila liquid lipstick formula but i'm going to keep this because I think this is like one of two Stila liquid lipsticks I have. So I'm going to keep this. Let's see. I have, ooh, I have this ABH lipstick, which I haven't tried. I got this in like one of the Sephora favorites. This is the shade Ruby. It's one of their matte lipsticks. And I've just not tried the formula yet. So I want to keep this and try it. I have this one from Too Faced, which I also got in a like favorites. And that's just way too purple for me. This is in the shade Drunk Dial. I'm going to get rid of this. I just got this Hank and Hen Henry liquid lipstick in a some sort of subscription box recently, so I'm going to keep this. Let's see. What is this? This is from Emmett Makeup, and this is... Ew, almost feels like a lip stain. It's like a red lip stain, but definitely not a product that I see myself using, so I'm going to get rid of this. I have this from Hikari. I just don't... Ooh, this looks like more of a lip lacquer. This feels really sticky. Pretty shade, but... It does feel really sticky, and I honestly, ooh, I feel like this is a maybe just because I do like the shade. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. Okay, I have a couple of ABH. I think both of these are liquid lipsticks. Yes, I have one in the shade Vamp and then also Veronica, and I really do remember liking these shades. I don't think that this is my favorite. Ooh, that actually looks way more brown than I expected. This is the shade Vamp. I actually think I'm going to get rid of that. And I have this in the shade Veronica, which is like a mauve brown. And I do really like this uh, Veronica shade, so I'm going to keep this. Two Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I have them in the shade Lolita as well as the shade Vampira. This is not my favorite liquid lipstick formula of all time, but I do really enjoy these shades. So I'm going to keep both of these. Oh, and then I also have this Kat Von D liquid lipstick. This is a mini. And that is obviously a super interesting and unique color. But I actually, because I'm getting rid of Junebug, I kind of want to keep this just for, mostly just for shits and gigs. But I think I'm going to hold on to that one. I have three Tarte Mini Rainforests of the Sea. No, I have four. I'm going to keep all of these. I got these in a holiday set last year, and I'm obsessed with this formula. I love all of the shades. Marg's is one of my favorites, and it's in my uh, one of my project pans. Like, like, literally, I'm obsessed with this shade. Love it. So I'm going to keep all those. Let's see, I have this Lip Lingerie by NYX in the shade Corset, which looks like almost like a taupey gray. I haven't even opened this yet, so I'm actually just going to see if my sister wants this one. Let's see, I have this from LA Splash. This might be more of a gloss. Nope, it looks like a really pigmented, almost lacquer, but in a shade that I don't really see myself wearing. So I'm going to get rid of this. Let's see, what's this? I have another product from Mana. This is their Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stain. Ooh, I love that shade. Ooh, I actually really like that shade. I'm going to keep this. I also have this NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Embellishment. Ooh, I do not like that shade. 
I am going to be getting rid of this. I have this NYX lip lingerie in the shade, let's see, Bedtime Flirt, which is more of like a nude. I like that a lot more. I'm going to keep that. I have all of my NYX soft matte lip creams. Honestly, let's see, this one, this one's too, I think too light bubblegum pink. For me, this is in the shade, the shade SMLC. I'm going to get rid of that. Let's see what else we got here that I'm considering. Oh, that's kind of fun. I'm going to keep that one. Let's see. That one's also kind of fun. I'll keep that. That one I like. I do really like the soft matte lip cream formula, so... I may just end up keeping the majority of these. Yep, I'm going to keep the rest of these. Let's see, I have this uh, Wet n Wild liquid cat suit in a shade that I don't think that I will use, and it's also unopened, so I'm going to get rid of this. Let's see, I have this liquid lipstick from Black Moon Cosmetics in a shade that I know I will not use, so I'm going to get rid of this. I have this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. This is one of their metallic finishes. I got this so that I could like try a metallic lip. And I actually don't mind this one. And I don't mind the formula. So I'm going to keep this. What's this? Another Mana product. This is a lipstick. That's not the worst shade ever. I think I'll keep this. I have this lipstick. I don't even know what brand this is, but I actually really like the shade. It's like a super nudie shade. And for some reason, I really like this lipstick. So I'm going to hang on to that. I have this lipstick from Burt's Bees in the shade of 501 Blush. Right there. I really like the Burt's Bees lipsticks. So keeping that. I don't know if they make the Burt's Bees lipsticks anymore and I just haven't seen them. I have my two Jouer liquid lipsticks. This is not my favorite liquid lipstick formula, but I do really like the shade in both of these. I have the shade Melon and then the shade Bonbon, so I'm going to keep both of these. I have this from Bella Pierre. This is their Kiss Proof Lip Cream, and I've never opened it, so I'm not going to, and I'm going to pass this along. I have two Galactic liquid lipsticks. Let's see what the shades are. Ooh, that's pretty brown. That one is in the shade Playful. I think I'm going to get rid of that. And then I have this one in the shade Demure, Demure, which is more like a shade I would use. So I'll keep Demure and get rid of Playful. I have a couple of nude stick products that I know I'm going to keep. I don't love the nude sticks formula, but I don't hate it either. So I'm going to keep anything nude sticks. I might have more over here. I'm not sure. All right, you guys, I know I'm going to keep all of my L'Oreal Infallibles. I have three of the Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and then I have one of the Pro Matte Gloss. I'm going to keep all of those, and then I am going to get rid of this, um, what is this? Unique Lip Stain. I thought I had two of these. Maybe just the one. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this for sure. Let's see, I have this from DLS. This is, I believe, a liquid lipstick. Ooh, that's a bright, ready orange shade. But I have other, I have plenty of other red orange liquid lipsticks in my collection that I know I like more than this, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I have my two Huda Beauty minis in Trophy Wife and I think Big Spender Muse. So I know I'm gonna keep both of those. I do really like the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick formula. All right, guys, here's my ColourPop liquid lipstick collection, and here it is swatched on my hand. I know I'm going to get rid of Rooch at the top here just because I feel like I have others in my collection, other shades similar to this in formulas I like better. I'm also going to get rid of this one right here, which is in the shade Barely There, or Bare Necessities, which was in collaboration with Alexis Wren. I'm also going to get rid of this shade, which is in the shade Solo, just because that's a shade I don't see myself wearing a whole ton. And then as much as it pains, no, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep Dopey. And then this one. What about this one? That one is in the shade Fresh Cut, which I like. I'm going to keep Fresh Cut. So I'll get rid of these three from ColourPop and then keep the rest. Moving on to my MAC lipsticks. This is in the shade Sin. I'm going to get rid of this. Then I have the shade Snob, which is like almost like a really, it's a really pale pink. I'm going to keep this one actually. And then I have the shade, this one's super nude. This is in the shade 
creme de nude you can barely see it i'm gonna keep creme de nude i'm actually gonna get rid of snob i'm never gonna use snob and then i have the shade ruby woo which i would never get rid of this is just a classic i have the shade d is for danger which i love and then i have the shade speed dial which is like a sheer pink i like this one a lot as well i also have the shade give in which is a nice nude sort of shade which i'm actually going to keep this and then get rid of the nude the other nude one let's see i have the shade amorius which i also really enjoy i have luster which i just recently got i believe which i am not going to get rid of just yet and then i have the shade diva which i love then i have luster ring this is the one i think i just got in a box there's luster ring oops i hope you can see all these swatches keeping this oh yes then i have this one which is in zen rose which is that's gonna be too berry toned for me so i'm gonna get rid of that all right you guys this is what we're down to i have this one from give me glow cosmetics that i know i'm gonna keep i love that shade i have this mini from nars i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep actually i'm gonna keep pretty much all of my minis let's see i have this from melt which i know i'm really never gonna use this shade this was an accidental order i ordered like the wrong thing i'm gonna get rid of that I don't really like the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then I also have this Tartese Lip Paint in the shade Get It. I don't prefer this formula, so I'm going to declutter this. Another Tartese Mini I'm going to get rid of. Another Tartese Mini I'm going to get rid of. A Balm Mini, a Buxom Mini, and a Ciate Mini. Two Ciate Minis I'm going to keep. I have this from Sephora. This is like just a mini lipstick that's pretty sheer i'm gonna get rid of this i have this from revlon i just picked up for a review nope this isn't from revlon this is something i just got this is from bella pierre and i actually really like that shade so i'm gonna keep this i also have this smashbox lipstick this is one of their this is their mauve matte lipstick this is in a project pan. I don't really love the shade, but I'm going to finish the pan and then declutter. I have this Chloe and Isabel gloss I'm going to get rid of. I have this from LA Splash. This is a liquid lipstick. Again, just like way too berry toned, way too dark. I'm going to get rid of that. I have these two from Real Her, and I'm actually interested in trying this formula, so I'm going to keep that. I really do like the shade on that one. And then this appears to be more of like a gloss or a lacquer that feels really sticky, which I don't like, so I'm going to get rid of this. I have this from Smashbox. I think this is one of their uh, always-on liquid lipsticks. I like that shade, and I like this formula, so I'm going to keep this. I also have this Buxom lipstick. This is an older one. This is their Coral Confession lipstick. I love that shade for the summertime. I'm going to keep it. I have this Urban Decay lipstick in, ooh, that's really pink. This is in the shade Obsessed. I'm gonna get rid of this. I have this from Stila. This is in the shade Emma. I love this nude, nude shade. I think that's so pretty. I'm definitely keeping that. And then I'm also gonna keep this from Too Faced. This is in the shade Naked Dolly, which I also really love, like a nice, beautiful nude shade. This is from Grande Lips. This is the plumping liquid lipstick I haven't tried yet. I'm going to keep. Then I have this from, I think, Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. This is one of their liquid lipsticks. I haven't opened this yet, but I do want to try this, so I'm going to keep this. I have an Ofra liquid lipstick that I want to keep. I have this Smashbox Ombre Lip that I just recently got in a BoxyCharm. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this, so I'm going to get rid of this. I do really like the caked liquid lipstick formula, so I'm going to keep this. I'm also going to keep this crayon from Sugar because I do really like that shade. I have this Revlon lipstick. This is the one I was talking about I recently bought for a video, but I don't love the shade on this. 
and I'm actually going to get rid of this. This is in the shade 205 Pearl. I'm going to keep this from OCC Cosmetics. This is their lip tar. I really want to try this. I haven't tried it yet. I know it's a really bright pink, but I'm going to keep this. So therefore, I'm going to get rid of... No, I'm going to keep this by Laura Geller because I have not tried her lip liquid lipstick yet either. So I'm going to keep that. This I'm going to get rid of. This is by Laga. And this is their Cloud Lips. I just don't need to keep that. I have a Lorac liquid lipstick I'm going to keep. I have this ABH gloss in the shade Vintage, which I'm going to keep. I'm going to get rid of this by Sleek Makeup. This is their major matte liquid lipstick. I'm going to get rid of that. It's still unopened. I have this by Hikari that I think I already said I was going to put in my maybe. Let's see. The last few, this BH Cosmetics liquid lipstick I haven't tried yet, so I want to try. I have this from Beauty Creations. This is appears to be a liquid lipstick. Ooh, and I like that shade a lot, so I'm going to keep that. Here's another one by Real Her. That appears to be a little bit too berry toned for me, so I'm going to get rid of that. I have this by Adesi New York. This looks like it's going to be way too brown toned. Yep, getting rid of. I have this, which I don't even know what this is. It appears to be ruined, so I'm going to be getting rid of it. And then finally, I have this from Pacifica. Ugh. Uh-oh. Ooh, and it won't, won't roll down. Uh-oh. Oh, not well. Okay. I like that nude shade. I'm going to keep this. All right, you guys, and after all is said and done on that, I got rid of another 58 products from that stack for a grand total of 88 lip products decluttered, which I am super, super happy with. That's 88 lip products less in my collection. I know I kept a lot more, and I definitely probably could have decluttered more, but I'm really happy to get rid of almost 100 lip products. I'm definitely going to be feeling better about that. You'll have to let me know, you guys, which area of my makeup you would like to see me declutter next, and again, be looking for that full face of makeup I'm considering decluttering. Other than that, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so before you go, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!